a pleasant day a pleasant day everyone welcome to our session uh, today we are going to discuss uh, one of the transcendental functions okay so before we start uh, I would like to show you the objectives of this whole topic okay so objectives of this uh, topic transcendental functions so at the end of the whole topic, you know, I will use here the whole topic instead of the period. At the end of the whole topic, you should be able to find the derivative of exponential functions, find the derivative of logarithmic functions, determine the derivative of trigonometric functions, and determine the derivative of inverse trigonometric functions. And uh, of course, uh, we have the hyperbolic functions as well. But I will begin with uh, uh, trigonometric functions and it will be followed by the inverse trigonometric functions. I will do the separate video for the uh, inverse trigonometric functions as well as the derivative of exponential functions and the derivative of logarithmic functions. So I'll begin with the trigonometric functions, the, the derivative of the trigonometric functions. Alright, so we have here the derivative of trigonometric and inverse trigonometric functions. The derivative of trigonometric functions. To determine the derivative of trigonometric functions, we need to use the following theorems on limits of trigonometric functions. So, the limit of sine of x divided by x as x approaches to 0 is equal to 1. So, remember this one class. This is a very important theorem in uh, trigonometric functions. So, when we speak of derivative okay and we also have the limit of the quantity 1 minus cosine x divided by x as x approaches to 0 equal to 0 now if f of x equal to sine x then the derivative of sine x is equal to cosine x or we have f prime of x is equal to cosine x so if f of x equal to sine x, then f of f prime of x is equal to cosine x. And if f of x equal to cosine x, then the derivative of f of x equal to minus sine x. Or f prime of x equal to minus sine x. If f of x equal to tangent x, tangent x then the derivative of tangent x is equal to secant squared x or f prime of x equal to secant squared x. If f of x equal to cotangent x, then the derivative of cotangent x or f prime of x equal to negative cosecant squared x. If f of x equal to secant x, then the derivative of secant x or f prime of x is equal to secant x times tangent x. If f of x equal to cosecant x, then the derivative of cosecant x or f prime of x is equal to negative cosecant x times cotangent x. Alright? But in general, if u is a differentiable function of x then we have the following formula so we read this one as the derivative of sine u with respect to x is equal to cosine u times the derivative of u with respect to x and if you have cosine u so the derivative of sine u with respect to x is equal to minus sine u times the derivative of u with respect to x and the derivative of tangent u with respect to x is equal to cos, uh, sorry, secant squared u times the derivative of 
u with respect to x. And the derivative of cotangent u with respect to x equal to minus cosecant squared u times the derivative of u with respect to x. And the derivative of secant u with respect to x is equal to secant u times tangent u times the derivative of u with respect to x. And the derivative of cosecant u with respect to x equal to the negative of cosecant u times the cotangent u times the derivative u with respect to x. So um, the formula class that I have given earlier is uh, assuming that uh, we have sine x but sometimes uh, uh, sine of something, no? we represent this as u. So in general, we can take the derivative using this formula. So it means that, for example, in sine u, derivative of sine u with respect to x. So uh, from the formula, previous uh, formula that I had given you, so this is cosine, but this time we use u times. After you take the derivative of sine, which is equivalent to cosine, so derivative of sine u is equal to cosine u, and you have to multiply it by the derivative of whatever is the uh, content of the u, no? derivative of u with respect to x. So don't forget that one because this is the common mistakes. No? To forget the, the derivative of what is inside u or what is u equal to. <clears throat> okay? So for example, if you're given, say, uh, sine of 4x, f of x equal to sine of 4x. So what is the derivative of sine x equal to 4x? So the solution here is, okay, I'll just go, go directly to the solution. So using the formula, so here uh, we can find first what is our u so that you can use the general uh, formula of the trigonometri trigonometric function. So in this case, we have u equal to, so our u here is equal to 4x. Okay? So from the formula, uh, the formula for sine, we have derivative of sine u with respect to x equal to cosine u times the derivative of u with respect to x. So it means that we have to uh, determine our u, which is 4x. And we know that, uh, okay, so our f prime, meaning the derivative of x, so f prime of x, so our function is a function of uh, sine of 4x. So derivative of sine is equal to cosine. Okay, so cosine u. So our u is 4x, so this would be cosine 4x. Then times, okay, so times the derivative of u. So our u is 4x. So derivative of 4x with respect to x. Okay, so with respect to x. So what is the derivative of 4x? Derivative 4x is equal to 4. So therefore, our f prime of x is equal to 4 times cosine 4x. Alright, so this is our answer. <clears throat> so the 4 here, this 4 here is taken from the derivative of 4x. So derivative of 4x is 4. So 4 times cosine 4x. So we have 4 times cosine 4x. Okay, so how about this uh, number 2? <clears throat> we are given uh, a function of x, g sub x equal to cosine of 3x plus 1 plus tangent x cubed plus 4. So again, we can apply our um, differentiation rules. So this is the sum rule, right? But this time in combination with the trigonometric function. So derivative of trigonometric functions together with the uh, rules in differentiation. Okay, so our answer here is 
So derivative of cosine, so we know that, okay, I'll put the solution here. So we know that the derivative of cosine is negative sine, right? So in this case, we have two terms here. So in our first term, what is our u? So our u here for this uh, term here, this is our first term. So our u, sorry, our u for this term, our u here is equal to uh, 3x plus 1. Okay, so 3x plus 1. And for our second term, so this is our second term. Okay, so our u in this term is equal to uh, x, x cube x cube plus 4 okay so using the sum rule and together with the derivative of trigonometric functions so we have g prime of x okay so g prime of x it means we are now differentiating the given trigonometric functions or function so g prime of x is equal to so derivative of cosine derivative of cosine is minus right minus sine u okay so minus sine r u is uh, 3x plus 1 then times the derivative of u so times the derivative of u our u is 3x plus 1 3x plus 1 and this is with respect to x okay now next we have plus what is the derivative of tangent so derivative of tangent u is equal to Secant squared u, right? Secant squared u times du uh, times uh, derivative of u with respect to x. So derivative of tangent is secant squared. Okay, secant secant squared u. Our u is our u is x cubed. x cubed plus 4 then multiply this by the derivative of u so it means that derivative of so multiply this by the derivative of x cubed okay, so x cubed plus 4 plus 4 okay, x cubed plus 4 Okay, so then with respect to x. Alright, so simplifying, we have minus uh, sine sine of three x plus one. <coughs> times the derivative of u or u is 3x plus 1 so derivative of 3x is 3 derivative of 1 is 0 so this one multiplied by 3 then plus we have secant squared so you just uh, rewrite it secant squared okay secant squared u uh, sorry So secant squared u, our u is x cubed plus 4, x cubed plus 4, and then derivative of x cubed plus 4. So derivative of x cubed is, uh, from the power formula, that is 3x squared times dx over dx, so that is equal to 1. Then derivative of 4, which is a constant, that is equal to 
0. So we have only 3x squared. So finally, we have, so we can rewrite the constant here first. So minus uh, 3 times sine, sine of the quantity, that is 3x plus 1. 3x plus 1, then plus, uh, plus you can write, first the 3x squared so you can write 3x squared first and then multiplied by the second uh, second squared second squared u so our u is x cubed plus 4 okay so i hope uh, you we're able to follow this class. Okay, so I'll just uh, rewrite this one here. Uh, this one it should be a second squared. Okay, so this is our derivative of the given function g sub x. So as you see, class, uh, we're just uh, using the uh, rules in differentiation uh, together with the derivative of the trigonometric functions. All right, so that's all for today. So we have here another number. I want you to practice this. And um, in our next video, I will show you the solution. Okay, so try this one as well as this one. Okay, so hope you understand everything here. And thank you very much. See you in our next video. Uh, stay safe and healthy always. God bless. Bye.